All right, guys, how's it going, East Banglers? Today we're talking about the flow tube. We're gonna talk about the five best advantage, well, the five best reasons you should fish in a flow tube. And, you know, we're talking today specifically about the advantages, the top five advantages to of fishing in a flow tube. What are the pros, what are the cons? What are your advantages if you're in a flow tube? If any, let's talk about it. I fished in a flow tube around 420 days plus. I can tell you without a doubt that the flow tube is the most stealthy craft that I've witnessed on the water. The flow tube is so stealthy, in fact, I've actually had fish swim around me, schools swim around me. I've actually had fish nose up to my fin. And a lot of times I just don't disturb the water as much. And it is very interesting. I think it has a lot to do with the material, the material of the flow tube, the way it's designed. And it's very quiet. So, that's one of my favorite things. The second thing is the flow tube can get you into a lot of places you can't get into with other, you know, maybe a boat or a smaller boat, small inflatables, kayaks might be too heavy and just a bit too long of a hike. The flow tube is your go-to. It's 11 pounds for some of these really nice ones, 12 pounds, and you can put that on backpack straps grab a couple rods and grab some drinks, some snacks and some tackle, put it in a bag and go on a one mile hike. That would be a bit difficult to get your kayak into and get into those small bodies of water, small ponds, reservoirs, quarries. You're gonna get on fish everybody else isn't. So the third thing that I just love about the float tube is, you know, when you're on a flow tube, you're more or less able to, how do I put this? You're, you're going, you're going backwards. So essentially you can pull up to a lot of good areas and you can basically say you can pull up on a buoy or pull up to the, the docks or the, any kind of an area. Um, and, and instead of using like, you know, anchor systems, I, I don't use an anchor ever. Um, I, I use a lanyard and I will, you know, attach my lanyard to any structure I can. Uh, usually where there's structure, there's fish, whether it's a buoy, whether it's a you know, some type of a rope that's roping me off from going any further, or it's the actual docks and marinas. It just allows you to really get as close as you possibly can fish stealthy and catch fish that normally you just wouldn't catch. Um, but this applies to anything and everything. So I've attached my lanyard to tree stumps and just trees sticking out of the water, anything to hold your position because a lot of times the wind picks up and the last thing you wanna do is kick forever and ever and ever. <coughs> so basically that's one of my favorite things about fishing in a flow tube. The next is going to be a bit different in general, you know, and what I mean by that is the, the flow tube does require you to slow down, okay? So if, you know, you've been a fisherman that, if you're a fisherman that, that fishes fast and you power fish and you cover a lot of water, you know, you, you have a tough time slowing down. Going out in a flow tube actually might be a good thing for you. It allows you to 
it forces you, I'm sorry, <laughs> it absolutely forces you to slow down. And sometimes slowing down just allows you to take the time, fish baits differently, and figure some things out you normally wouldn't. And then you can apply that once you're out on the boat or on the bank. And the flow tube in general, in my opinion, is not the kind of, it's not like you can go everywhere in it. So you're going to essentially have to really pick your launch areas very carefully. Where are you gonna launch? close to where you want to fish generally you're gonna to have to fish an area super methodically you're gonna to have to just abs you're gonna to have to you know break it you're gonna to have to really just hit it hard 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 and um, a lot of times because you're forced within that you know you're you're kind of confined within that area you know you're going to pull out a lot of baits and do a lot of things you wouldn't normally do when you have the opportunity in a boat to just zip and zip to different spots and if you're on the bank you can just hop in the vehicle and just drive to a different location and try something you know try a different location but it's it's really something the float tube is uh you know definitely stealthy it's uh, cheaper than you know any other boats or watercraft that you can get, but it is a bit of a burden at times. Other times, it is an absolute blessing. So guys, think about getting a float tube. It is definitely gonna get you on more fish, and it's definitely gonna allow you to try to fish different methods that you couldn't normally fish on the bank and on the boat, you wouldn't want to fish because you'd be so amped up to fish all these other styles. And um, a lot of us, you know, we, we prepare for our days on the boat and we get all these special baits and, you know, <laughs> you only get so much time on the boat. So I hope this video got, uh, helps guys and uh, stay tuned for more. We're going to try to do some more.